A consumer alert for you tonight. It is proof that nothing is sacred when it comes to scams. This one preys on people who have lost a pet. Seven Eyewitness News reporter Taylor Epps talked to one local victim who posted a lost pet picture on the Internet. The Struebles have an animal-friendly home in Williamsville. These are the markings of the family cat, Tilly. She's like a mix of a calico and a tabby. The most distinctive feature is like an orange kind of flame-shaped patch over her left eye. She's really adventurous, so she would disappear for days sometimes to go around the neighborhood. That's what happened two weeks ago, but the Struebles haven't seen Tilly since. We've been putting up posters and stuff on social media. On Sunday, Struble posted his information on a website called Paw Boost, a site dedicated to connecting people to their lost pets. That same day, I got a text from an unknown number from a different area code that was saying, hey, I found your cat Tilly. I jumped out of bed and went downstairs and was so happy telling all my family members, like they found Tilly but it was just all a lie. Struble asked for a picture of his cat and then got this response, asking for a six-digit code. That's when he knew it was a scam. So if I gave them the verification code, they would have been able to get into my Google account. Like, shame on you. You're trying to take advantage of people who are missing their animals, and it's just really cruel. Struble isn't the only victim. So it started in December is when we started to see it. They're really targeting like any site that has publicly listed phone numbers, like including Craigslist. Gladio is the co-founder of Paw Boost and says he's working on finding a solution. We need to like do a better job about stressing to the user that, hey, this does expose you and watch out for this scam in particular and don't fall for it. Struble is still looking for Tilly. You can find information on how to help and information on how to avoid the scam on our website at WKBW.com. Williamsville. Taylor Epps, 7 Eyewitness News.